Hi everyone, John Resso with Wells Darby, here with TJ from Wind Supply, Poughkeepsie, New York. Uh, we just did a complete refurb on this home and we installed two 48,000 BTU J-Series units that are gonna heat and cool the building. And we just wanna touch on a couple of key install items here. So we have our disconnects, one for each unit. They're powered from the inside the home, through the breaker box, to a disconnect outside. We always wanna make sure we get them up above snow level. These are heat pumps. So we wanna make sure no ice or snow gets up to the fans and stops the fans from operating. So anytime you're installing a heat pump, you just wanna make sure you get them up above snow line and uh, get your proper spacing between the units, proper spacing off of the building, proper spacing above the unit and make sure it is serviceable. So that's just a quick overview of outside. We're gonna take you now, there's three levels in this home. We'll go from the lower level all the way to the top, show you what type of indoor units we used and some of the reasoning behind why and what they're gonna to do to heat and cool the home. Okay, so here we are in the basement. We just left uh, to the right of me. That's where the outdoor units are. They're stacked outside, as we showed you. And those lines come in right here. On this job, we decided to go with a header type system. We can go with a header or with separation tubes. Here, for this application, the headers work better. So one outdoor unit goes to this lower header, which we feed three indoor heads, and the upper uh, line set from the outdoor come to this upper header, and we feed five off of this header. So that's everything we pretty much did in the basement. And then our line sets will extend out of here. Uh, there's two units in the basement, one in the room that we're in currently. That will do one half of the downstairs. And then we have one on the other side of the basement that's gonna do the kitchen area on the first floor. So here we are, we're still in the basement. Uh, in addition to having a couple of air handlers in the basement that handles that first level, we have a wall mount unit here in the basement. We also have a wall mount over here in the basement. And then this would be the other uh, air handler mounted vertically. And this does the kitchen, which is right above us on the first floor. Okay, so here we are, we're on the first floor now. We have a floor mount unit on the first floor. Um, the reason for the floor mount unit here is right behind, the, which you can't see right now. I'm sure Brett will scan around, but these are all windows here. So we wanna make sure that this unit is offsetting any BTU loss that we may have through the windows. And then if you just pans over here, we got a unit that they're still working on. Again, this is a live install construction site. Uh, we got a wall unit in here to offset the doors that are on that side of the, of the room. And then you can pan into the kitchen. And then when we get into this kitchen area, this is what's handled by the air handler that we just looked at in the basement. That comes up and we have duct work throughout the uh, kitchen to handle the BTU load in the kitchen. Right off of the kitchen, we have a central controller. So again, live job site, not fully functional yet. Uh, we do have power to it, so we're gonna set this up today. But we have a uh, central controller. The homeowner will have the ability to go to the central controller. They will be able to see every individual head within the home and make any type of adjustment that they would like to from here. In addition to that, they can also have a wired remote or a wireless remote in the room itself if they needed to make changes. But if they want to set a schedule, you know, if they know what their work schedule is and they want to set a schedule, they can do all that on this uh, controller. It also has the ability to plug in and you can see it from afar on the, uh, your computer. Right now we got the camera up in a kind of like a crawl space area. That's where we have a ducted unit. We have half of that, this house is split in half at the top. So we have one ducted unit on the right side of the house, one ducted unit on the left side of the house. So right now you're seeing the install of the one ducted unit that's on the uh, left side of the home. And it's a carbon copy basically on the right side of the home. I just showed you the ducted unit that's up in a crawl space. And then basically this is a ductwork that's attached to it. This is one of the bedrooms. And, and again, on the other side of the house, it's a carbon copy type application. Um, still under construction, but we're just showing you some of the ways these units can be installed. You can see they got a great view here, so we didn't really want to take up any wall space. That's why we went with a ducted unit here. But throughout the home, we have a ducted floor mount, wall mount, and uh, two 48,000 BTU outdoor units. So 
So here we are back at the outdoor units. We kind of gave you a quick tour of this uh, complete renovation. Um, the reason the builder went with this route, uh, rebates are a big part of it, and he wanted the efficiency of a heat pump. So two heat pumps, two 48,000 BTU heat pumps. You've seen all the indoor heads. We'll be able to heat and cool this place with no problem at all, and their energy costs will be extremely low.